Unleash your vehicle's full potential with Max Performance Event in VI Car Real Time. Welcome to this video tutorial on the Max Performance Event in VI Car Real Time. In this tutorial, we'll explore how this event can help you evaluate and optimize the lap time capabilities of your vehicle model. The primary goal of any race car is achieving the best possible lap time, and it's no different for exclusive street-legal sports cars or even more conventional passenger cars. Time attack capabilities are increasingly crucial in today's automotive development landscape. To begin, you'll need three essential components. One, your vehicle model. Two, the road target for performance evaluation. Three, a reference trajectory for the virtual driver to follow. We'll start by using the VI Road Tool. This tool allows you to visualize the road and overlay the trajectory. You can also create a new trajectory if needed. Additional features like smoothing tools and control points let you process experimental data like GPS acquisitions to generate a simulation-ready trajectory. Once you have your road file and trajectory ready, it's time to move the Max Performance Event Setup interface. The simulation process consists of two main stages. In the first stage, we use VI Car Real-Time Vehicle Data to create a simplified model. This model is used by the VI SpeedGen Quasi-Static Solver to calculate the maximum achievable speed along the provided trajectory. Parameters like vehicle mass, weight ratio, tire performance, and optional factors like aerodynamics or suspension kinematics can be adjusted based on your model's maturity and the trade-off between accuracy and simulation time. With the speed profile calculated in Stage 1, we move on to the second stage of the Max Performance event. Now, the complete vehicle model is run in a dynamic analysis, with VI driver working to follow the target trajectory at the speed determined in Stage 1. The lap is divided into sectors, and if the simulation cannot close a sector within the allowed tolerances, it's rewound to the sector's beginning and the related portion of the speed profile is scaled down before re-execution. This iterative process helps us find the best lap achievable through dynamic simulation. Like other VI car real-time events, the Max Performance event can also be used as a reference for a design of experiments DOE, through an investigation mode session or included in a Simulink model to incorporate custom subsystems or control logic giving you the flexibility to push your vehicle to new limits. That wraps up our tutorial on the Max Performance Event in VI Car Real Time. We hope you now have a better understanding of how to evaluate and optimize your vehicle's lap time capabilities using this powerful tool. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching.